DeAndre Campbell, you seem to be the talk of the uh, off season. What have you done in this off season that uh, is making everybody talk about DeAndre Campbell? Um, I think I just I just take I just took I just took my game to the next level. Um, I worked extra hard this off season on um, making sure my body was in tip top shape. Um, I just made sure that I just review, I just critique myself on every little thing. And so um, after spring ball, guys, after I made a few plays, guys started respecting me as a leader. So they started to follow me, and more and more guys started working harder and harder. So, yeah, I definitely feel like I just stepped it up in, as far as the physical, the mental, and just the leadership. When you And when you talk about those things, when you're working hard, tell me what work, working hard means. Does it mean studying film, weight room, running routes? What does it look like? Um, Just... I would say working hard is doing what doing working when nobody is around. You know, it's easy to it's easy to do work when the coach is around when we're at the when we're at the lifts, you know, for those two hours. But to put the work in, you know, with key and you know, on huddle looking at film or spring ball and previous game film and just trying to get better in every way. Just looking at NFL guys, uh, other college guys that have gone on to the league, you know, seeing what they're doing so I can add it to my game. How do you work? I mean, how do you practice running routes on your own? How do you get better at doing that, recognizing all of that stuff? Well, um, well, route, routes, some routes, most routes are timing routes. So it's uh, knowing the quarterback's drop, uh, make sure you're getting your depth, your feet are right, you get, your, you get, out, you get in and out of your transitions and your breaks. Um, and just make sure when you come out of your break, you're getting your head around looking for the ball. It just seemed like at one point, maybe about a year and a half ago, you were getting buried a little bit and people started talking, you know, is he going to make it? Was it a little bit of fear that motivated you or is it just maturation? What was what's, what what turned the corner for you? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say getting that experience under my belt and just, just being determined that, you know, despite any distractions, you know, any naysayers, you know, anything like that, just focusing on me and making sure that I become the best player and reach my full potential. And Coach Clark talked to, today in the press conference about you becoming more of a vocal leader than, you know, he's seen in the past out of you and he's real happy about that. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, I just, I just like like I said, you know, like in spring ball, um, you know, like before, I didn't, like the past season, like last season, I didn't really make enough plays, you know. I, I kind of feel like I didn't make enough plays to really be talking, you know. So what I did was, you know, in spring ball, I made enough plays, you know, to where the guys started respecting me for my actions. And so, when I, defi- when I finally decided to speak up, you know, guys, listen. So Everybody talks about Kaysen. Everybody talks about Austin. It's a little bit easier sometimes to fly under the radar a little bit. Definitely, definitely. You know, the spotlight is always on them. So that just gives me even more motivation to keep working hard, you know, to, to just do the best and reach my full potential. And hopefully they'll take care of the rest. And don't sugarcoat it. Tell people what to expect out of Keith Price this year. I mean, you've been around him a little bit, and you you saw him last year, this different this year. What's the difference in Keith Price going to be this year to, to last year. I would just, I would just say don't sleep on him. Um, you know everybody. You know he had that he had that great season uh, two years ago, and then he didn't have a good season coming out this year. But Keith hasn't changed. Keith is still the competitive person. He's gonna come out fire and just all out. So don't sleep on him. Be ready for him to make a make a name for himself again this year. Now you got a chance to see those three new wide receivers coming in up close and personal. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me your first thoughts when you see the size of. The two Man, of them. It's like, where where did they come from? Like, uh, like what are they feeding them? Like, string is two two twenty plus. Darrell is like two two twenty plus, two thirty. Like, where like what are you guys eating that I wasn't eating when I was coming out of high school? Like, and they're just big and they're athletic. So it just it it'll, it'll make it easier. You know, all they all they really have to do right now is just pick up the mental aspect. Because the physical aspect is already there. You know, with the new stadium, tell me about the field out there. On the sidelines, it felt a little firm. You know, what's it like out there making cuts? Or does it even really matter? Did you notice it? Yeah, I, yeah, I noticed it because, like, uh, you have all these black pebbles in the ground. You know, it's like over over abundance of black pebbles. So when you step and plant, you have to be extra careful. You know, your foot might get stuck in the ground. You just We just got to break it in, basically. Just break it in. How's, how's it feel? It feels good. It feels good. Yeah, definitely feels good to be back in the stadium. And how about just practicing out there? Did you find yourself looking around a little bit? Yeah, I was definitely, I mean, you know what? I came out here a little early. Came out here about 20, 30 minutes early just to take it all in. Like, just to think about what it was. My red shirt freshman year, just being back in the stadium, just thinking about the fans and thinking about the first game. and Just put me back in place. Put me back at home.